Greetings and welcome to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'm so disappointed with OBS and possibly Stream Deck. I'm not really sure what went on, but I have tried to record this episode or yeah, I've tried to record an episode two times already and I'm not going to do it again because I made so much nice progress. I am not going to try to do it again and try to remember all the things that I said and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, we're not going to do that part. Um, I'm just going to show you what I made. I'm very sad that the episode got lost, but OBS like didn't finish the recording and it just, you know, MP4s do not, uh, you know, play well when you, when it doesn't finish it off properly. So yeah. Okay. So let me show you what has happened. So in the last episode, the one that didn't get lost, we kind of expanded our second, uh, district and um, I have expanded that even further. I have created a very interesting and lovely like a housing structure. Wait, did I do that last time? I don't remember. Okay, so I, I might go over some of the stuff that we had before. But yeah, uh, we did finish this uh, thing, the distribution post, which is very nice. Uh, but I have paused it because there's nothing to distribute. We have gotten, we have the technology for the windmills. I started to build the first large windmill right over here. And slowly we're going to be replacing them uh, because they have double the amount of electricity, capacity, generation, power, yes, um, and all that. So I also decided to give my uh, beavers here a temple, uh, which is a very nice kind of thing. I put a, also a campfire down for them. We have another water pump uh, to help fill this water tank because we were very short with just one. And finally, they cleared enough trees so that we could build a forester here. And as you see, the forester starts kind of at where the temple leaves off and has kind of max distance to the right. The plan is to build stairs down these steps here uh, so that I can uh, plant and harvest trees here. And this is going to be a major lumber and uh, log manufacture facility because we have built some lumber mills over here. So yay. So um, the other thing is we have built an interesting little housing structure. I did talk about the design possibilities here. This is a two level design. As you see, we have one level with the partially submerged two level uh, housing units on the bottom. And then this is actually the top layer. And of course I talk about why I don't want it to look like one of those horrible monstrosities from the 1960s and 70s, which are basically great giant concrete cubes in the world and they look terrible. So I like to have variety and we have it. All right. So that's second colony. First colony, I, um, I expanded this area here to include two builders huts. And those are the things that are on highest priority. We have many beavers that are, uh, vacant or, or uh, unemployed right now. So builders are kind of what we need. So we kind of added to that. Now this area ended up being kind of interesting because what I did is we can see if we go down a couple of layers here. I have made this a storage depot. Somebody actually gave me the idea or I remembered. Um, well, they said, oh yeah, do you remember you can do like storage el or uh, elevators, power elevators by stacking a bunch of storages? And I'm like, yeah, of course I remember. And uh, but I decided why not just put storage underneath because all of these platforms, they're just platforms. Um, we don't really get much use out of them. So it's nice to have them actually doing something. In fact, I might do something similar over here as well. Let's see down here. We have the power shaft going there, but what we can do is delete some of these platforms and make more storage warehouses underneath this section as well. And I think I might do that in just a moment. This did not get much done. Um, the priorities, as you can see, are to build. Oh, I, I don't want these to build. I just want basically these bits built uh, to enable the building of the builder's huts. This needs to also be prioritized higher because of that square. And then of course it makes these guys light up because it's adjacent and I don't know why it makes that happen, but it does. So this area here, the platform for the carousel got built, but the carousel needs metal blocks, which of course we don't have yet because of the growth in this forest area. Uh, I did extend the, uh, some stairs down here and down here. 
And because of this growth, we have actually gotten a fair few logs, which have been turned into planks, uh, kind of initiating some more growth spurts around the colony. I did add stairs here as well, uh, enabling us to plant this, these little terracy bits with some potatoes. So that's an exciting thing. We also put this on priority, the grill, to make grilled chestnuts so that we would have some more food. We are struggling a bit with food. I did prioritize the beehives so that they we could um, have faster growth rate of the crops, which is pretty important. Um, wait a second. I might... Where is... Oh, here we go. If I put a staircase over here maybe we get all this stuff as well uh all right yeah let's do that let's just do that so sorry for this like quick uh quick and dirty kind of review of what has happened but it i just i just could not record the same thing a third time that would have like severely annoyed me so one of the things i'm wondering is this is the aquatic farmhouse going to be close enough to the city center to actually function and it looks like no, it's not. Ah, uh, the sadness is real. And also it looks like this is not going to function either. So what we might need to do for this thing is move the farmhouse closer. It looks like the closest, or it needs to be at least this close. Maybe I'll build it like right here so it's not in any jeopardy. Okay, so let's take these out. Uh, all right. It's okay. It'll be fine. I'm kind of roaring a bit, but it's... It'll be fine. Sadness is real. See, they have the same song toward them. Anyway, let's go with Aquatic Farmhouse here. Instead. Because they do need to be connected. Okay. And that means we can put different housing possibilities in this area that will be okay so let's just delete these delete that and probably delete these i'm not sure what we should do yeah we should just delete those yep and then here we can have these smaller double lodges here um yeah there we go so there we are okay um But yeah, we have done some some things. But it is it is getting very obvious that we do need to change some of the things. This, uh, we might actually, actually, we could have gotten away with that maybe if we did a bridge here. I didn't even think about that. Uh, I should have done a bridge. But then again, I don't want this road here at all. I want this to be farmland. <laughs> But one of the things that we are struggling on a bit with is the metal. We don't have any metal yet. I did see that there are some easier to get metal places. Like this is quite shallow in comparison to this very deep dive we have to do over there. Also, this one is very shallow. And this might be a better option for, uh, for stuff, which is what I'm thinking that we might need to do. And maybe we make a district, a new district over here-ish somehow, magically. Um, we could, could do a couple of things here. What do we want to do with this? Um, we could put the district center here temporarily while we clear out some of this area. That's, a, that's an option. Maybe we do that. That sounds pretty good, actually. I think I will... Oh, well, that's kind of naughty, isn't it? Oh, dear. Okay, so we can't actually build this stuff right now because... Oh, there we go. If we build it that way. But these will not get built because we don't have access to the ground right now here. Uh, which I think we need. We definitely need access to the ground. So let's delete something. We need to delete this. And what we'll do is we'll do a staircase down right here because this is a perfect spot. It's not actually being used by anything, so yay. And we'll put down another staircase down there, which doesn't work. It's okay, we'll figure it out. There we go, like this, there we go. And then here we can place these that way and then build our food on top. 
Uh, not a farmhouse, aquatic farmhouse, please. There we go. Okay. So I want to put those on priority, I think. But I do feel like we're going to need a second area here. But I think this might be a good thing to put on priority too, to, to build out the second district and start getting some of that actually working. How far can we can we build? I'm kind of like, huh, how far can we build? I'm not sure. This is going to, this staircase is definitely going to extend things quite a bit. So we'll see how that works out. But yeah, this is, this might be a problem and why this is not happening over here. Why we're not getting these structures built is because we don't have access to those, um, those lower areas right now. What is this? This is the gathering flag for chestnuts, I think. Um, what we really need to do is just get down to that level. How do we get down there? Can we get down there? Yes. If we move the shrine, then we can get down. No, that's not right. Hold on. This one connects there. Aha. And that I think will connect down there. Let's just make sure. Yes, I think. Yeah, that should be the same level and we should be able to build out the entire thing. Yeah, that's, um, that's interesting. I guess what we need to do is just pause all of these buildings until we build the underlying structure. I didn't really think of that, but I think that is uh, a major issue that we need to deal with. Uh, pause all of these structures so that we don't, so that we can build out the entire thing. And let's just uh, prioritize all of this as well. Yep. Okay. I, I was, I'm kind of, it's one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, you're waiting and waiting and do they have enough materials? Is it that? <laughs> and obviously it's not because what they're, what we're just facing is a lack of, you know, stuff. So on here, that's one thing that I definitely want to do is change this area. Remember we were talking about adding some, um, storage underneath. So let's do that. Let's go underneath here and we need to delete some of these pieces here. Uh, there aren't any structures here. I'm confused. This is the ground level. Yeah. Or it's the walking level, I should say, not ground level. Yep. Okay. That's fine. All right. So the path is going to come in this way. So I think we'll just have a storage thingy. How do we want to work this actually? Let's see what way fits the best. Um, so we just want to do some small warehouses here. We can have one here and I don't know if we want to, we probably could continue this further off to the right. So we could start like this and then Kind of build up underneath there. That would work. There we go. Okay. And then I'll just put some in just to cover the area that we need built here. There we go. And put in the path. Very nice. And we'll zero these out. I love, thank you devs for adding the ability to, um, zero out or prevent stuff being in warehouses. That is super, super useful. Okay. So now we just need to build the above structure. And this was going to be our distribution post over here. There we go. Like that. Yep. So Basically anything, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, and it's five across. So let's go all the way down to the bottom here and prioritize this as per what we wanted. Okay, so that's prioritized. 
Okay, there we go. And the others I think we'll put in as neutral priority. I don't think they need to be red. I think they can be other regular priority. Okay, so now we need to prioritize some of this stuff, I think. Whatever the building is actually sitting on. There we go. Okay, perfect. And then I think we add, we can add one more here. And then this part might be for another storage unit. But I think this, this like double layer city is kind of cool. Uh, it may not be good for actually seeing what you have in the layers. But yeah, otherwise it's kind of uh, kind of cool to, to, to work it. So this is gonna work, I hope. So let's see, hopefully, are these, are these connected? Yeah, they can get around here and they can definitely build these other platforms. So I'm pretty happy about that. Also, one question I had uh, in the other video that did not actually function um, was, so obviously I really like building grand plans and stuff like that. Do y'all do that? Do you do that? Or do you prefer to just, um, oh, this is, wow, really not ideal. Um, I think we need to change this and put a staircase here. Definitely here. Instead. This is important. Okay. Um, but we might have to share this with two farmhouses, one in each district. Uh, I think here we can have our district gate for the next district. The other thing that we definitely need is to have... Actually, maybe we'll put it here because I am already seeing an issue with having it there. Because I want to build some... Uh, a place for the distribution thingy. Uh, and by that I mean a uh, distribution drop-off point. Uh, which means we might need to have a second of these guys. Let's see, we have six of ten here. I guess I could cut off one of the food things... Uh, or something else. Maybe logs. I don't think they need logs. So we'll, we'll keep that out of there. Alright, so things are happening. Stuff is going on. Does anybody work here? Not yet. I think we need more people, but of course we need more... We need more beavers. We need, we need everything! We need everything! We need all the things! We do have a fair amount of logs, though. In, do, are they? Where are they, though? Are they here? You have 124 here. And a little bit of planks. But they're still working on stuff. Oh, look at this. They're building underneath the uh, distribution post. Which is going to be very helpful to us, I think. So here, I think this is where we're going to build our new district center. Which I think we're going to then move to somewhere around here-ish. And this might be our first metal colony. Um, I can't believe, like, we designed this huge thing to get the metal out of the other colony, and now we're kind of, like, abandoning that for a bit, because we have too much to do. Way too much to do. Um, but, you know, that's how we have to do it, I think. So, let's see. Distribution, drop-off point. There we go, that's what we want. So, that's gotta get built. Wait, oh yeah, we have to build the... The underlying structure. Otherwise, it doesn't work well. There we go. And then here... How does this work? It looks like this house is not going to work here. So I'm going to take it and we're going to move the gate instead. And we'll put the gate here. Or put the gate maybe there. Maybe, maybe there. Uh, just kind of move it on down a little bit. Rotate that and then have road here. Oh, they're building. Yay. And then we can have a like a double lodge over here. Like this. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so something is happening. <laughs> something is happening. Who knows what? 
Um, this also might create a better possibility for building like an irrigation tower in this area. But right now we have the issue, sort of issue, of not enough lumberjacks. And we need to cut down all these trees here first. Um, but yeah, this is... Oh, we can do it now. Yay. Okay, so let's see. Let's do the same kind of stuff. Let's do... Uh, we need to set our limits first. I wish there was like a copy-paste from district to district. Because like by and large, I'm going to want the same things in almost all of the districts. Uh, okay. I'm just going to take off some of these things that we don't need. And minimize other things. I'll just... Do generic limits for food here. Um, let's see. Ten logs, maybe. But most of these things are never going to get transported or are going to be transported in very small quantities. Uh, pine resin. Uh, nope, nope, nope. We'll do ten of these. Potatoes. Nope. We're not transporting any raw food over. Or a raw stuff. Treated planks. Water 30. Okay, cool. But yeah, it would be nice to have like a copy paste from district because I feel like I do them always, do them the same. Very rarely do I do any tiny edits. And if I do, I can just do it on one of them. And, or, uh, you know, it, it could be a cool thing to be like, have this thing where, where you could open up this thing and like have a menu, you know, copy from x district and you could have like a pull down menu or something like that that would be cool um i guess you'd have have to have a way to distri di um differentiate each drop off point so it would be nice if you do like drop off point and then have the ability to rename it to a unique name and that name would show up in the thing because you can have multiple drop off points in each district so you'd have to have a way to uniquely identify them as to be like oh yeah i know which one that one has uh and such and so forth okay so here we have things happening have these been planted i guess not but prioritize action is planting of course and I think those are, yeah, they should be planted, but nothing's going to live right now because we don't have this, um, the enclosure completed. So that is something we'll have to keep our eyes on. Let's see this farm. Where did that, oh, the farm. Yeah. It's weird when you have the, uh, the settings strange like that. You can't see where stuff goes. Okay, so, but yeah, we definitely need to have this work and happen and stuff. But as soon as we start getting, oh yeah, we, and we can't start getting until we actually have some, uh, roots going. So let's get the roots. Hello? Add new root to here, please. Uh, we want to do planks, of course. It's going to be an ask to get any of this stuff in here. Um, and then what, what, what can else we send? We can send baked potatoes, looks like grilled potatoes, gears, um, water, bread, Let's see water and bread. I think that's all we can afford really, but um, oh wait, we need to see where we have construction ability. Oh, this is going to be really rough. We may need to send logs there instead of one of the food types. I do multiple foods because if we don't have them in stock, then we can't send them obviously. So district three, maybe we don't send potatoes because we don't have a lot of those anyway. And we send some logs instead. Because they don't have the ability to, to harvest those logs yet. Okay, let's get logs. Um, but hopefully the other beavers will build this house there. I 
I'm kind of worried about the food situation. We really don't have a lot. We have very, very little food. I am kind of wondering, maybe I should build another irrigation tower up here because this, we can, we can fit more trees in this area if we uh, irrigate it. So let's see, how can we do this? I could build an irrigation tower up here, maybe. Let's see, where would this be best placed? Something like here, maybe? Be pretty good. That would that would be very good, actually. Uh, let's delete this section here. And let me just remind myself where the output is. There it is right there. So we can have stairs starting there. And obviously, this is going to take some stair, stair ability, but it will be, I think, good in the long run. I think here we just do a minus this and that at the very least. Maybe this one as well. And of course, we need roads. Always got to have roads. All right. Looking pretty good. So... We deleted, um, how many? Three trees there? Well, one, one, two, three trees, yeah. But we're going to get many more trees here. So I think that's going to work well. And uh, that will enable us to plant all of this area over here. That's going to be great. Really great. Can we reach? We can reach this area, though. That's nice. So if we plant... Do we want to have these pines here? Yeah, we do, actually. We do want the pines because of the pine resin, which we need for other structures. On this side, I think we have to have maples because of the... I don't think the pine, the tapper shack can reach them. Oh, yes, it can. So it can reach some of them, but can, what about these three squares there? Oh yes. All right. So let's get those to be pines. These three here. And how about down there? We could do a, we can try, we can always try and put a staircase in and see if, uh, it works. I wonder why I don't have a beehive down here. I should. Let's see. Uh, this one is one, two, three. One, two, three. So the beehive should be around here-ish. Maybe I'll put it right there. Like here. And does the farm reach over there? If I put, Well, we'll have to decide when we put this thing in. Actually, we were going to put one in here. That's right. I forgot about that. But that would be a nice area for more, like, wheat. Let's see, what do we have? Do we have wheat? We have some wheat. But it does look like we're keeping on top of things. I am really worried about the food, though. I feel like we don't have enough. We definitely need more food. But we're not growing the colony uh, very quickly, so... I'm not really sure. So these are the chestnuts, okay. We have some chestnuts. This colony is is doing things. <laughs> I think they're really dependent on, well, we could actually have a worker working there. I think if we, are we out of logs here? How is the cutting? Yeah, we can still cut from here. If we pause this one and have someone working in the lumber mill, for example, that might be a better use of our labor here. We can actually pause one of the water uh, things as well. Just have somebody working here, hopefully. Let's see, how many people do we have? We have... Have they all died? Oh no, they've all died of old age. Oh dear. Okay, so let's get five more people transferred. Oh my goodness, that's horrible. Okay, so to District 2, we want to have five people. No wonder nothing's happening. I'm like, why isn't anything happening? But yeah, that's why. That's why. 
Oh, that's right. We have the gathering post here as well. But yeah, we definitely need... Let's have like three workers here instead of four. So somebody can work in this lumber mill. Because I feel like having their own lumber supply is definitely beneficial. Also, we can build another thingy here. We can build more water wheels there. Uh, we do need another road or another thingy, though. I think we can do something like this. Or, yeah. So that we can put in two more water wheels here. Or, yeah, water wheels, of course. Um, and expand our power abilities there. It's looking pretty good, though. It's not too bad. So we have water, planks, logs, grilled potatoes. We can move people in now. We actually even have homes here. So this, this area has six beds. So we're going to transfer six people. We're going to migrate to District 3. Six adults. Yay. And they can start working. Um, they're going to have to build all this stuff on their own, but... I think it's going to be okay. They're going to have to start kind of with these levees, I think, and then they can eventually get down to this area here. But I think that's going to be very doable for them. So I'm going to go ahead and prioritize those tasks. Um, we might... Oh, hey, somebody planted some spatter dock there. Why are they not planting things? I don't understand this. Oh, it's because it's too deep. Yes, of course. Well, yeah, that's not going to be fixed until the entire wall is finished. So, of course, we already said that earlier in the episode, and I've kind of forgotten about it completely. But it's okay. We're going to get there. It'll be fine. Fine. So, I think let's pause this person here, and I'd rather have the lumberjack working. Uh, jobs are tight since we don't have any extra houses here. Okay, we're gonna be in less power land soon. Um, I think we're okay with power. I don't feel the need to like replace these immediately because we have so much power and we're not using all of it. So um, I think we're, we're doing pretty well. I think things are going very well right now. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, we'll go ahead and give them more workers to build more. I don't think they have enough supplies. I think that's the main problem here, is they have no logs. And we have no logs, and we have no water, apparently, as well. This is not good. Prioritize, please. Yo. Uh, definitely want to prioritize crop uh, irrigation thingies. We have tons of water. I don't know why they're not transporting the water. Let's see I could do I if I delete this I could get much more farmland here and I think it might be shorter as well okay let's delete that yo what why are why is this not being prioritized hello hello oh gosh there was nobody working there okay okay that's a bit scary um, I forgot that they had to have a person. I thought it was just haulers working there. I, I, for whatever reason, I didn't see it. Okay, so here we've just now freed up much more farmland. Well, five tiles of farmland. Still good. It's good. <laughs> uh, hmm. Kind of want to get this farmland, but I don't think we can get it easily. So let's plant some crops here. We'll plant some wheat. Come on. There we go. And let's prioritize. That's already high priority. Okay, that's good. Also, let's prioritize this tree planting area too. Uh, because having this will also irrigate maybe this for farmland. I don't know if we'll be able to access it, but it'll be good if we can. Okay, so builders building stuff. They're getting there. They're just really... Oh, wait. We just got a whole crop of logs. Excellent. 
So maybe what we do here is we raise the limit of the logs to be higher so that there's less interruption in building. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Wait, let me just make sure that took, because I didn't press enter. Logs. Yeah, it worked. Okay, so you don't have to press enter. Yay. But food seems a bit precarious, uh, even with the beehives. I thought with the beehives, we'd have like this huge um, influx of food. Like, yay, there's so much now. Hooray. But eh, that didn't happen. <laughs> that did not happen. So, yeah. How far we could, we could actually try to uh, make stuff here. As in, put some farming farmlands over this way. Um, that might be possible. Let's see. If I put in a an irrigation tower here, that would be okay. Actually, not too bad. Do we want another one here? Maybe. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, that's not where I wanted it at all, is it? No. Um. Well, that's a weird spot. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. We can do a thing there. That's fine. We can just do this. Um. So that they can get to the other area. So it looks like we're going to need to just cut some of these uh, crops here. Let's just go this way. Because there is, there's plenty of like range on this side, which we really haven't explored very much, I think. So let's do this and this is such a strange little thing, but it works, I guess. Okay, let's do this and maybe we have some water gathering right here so that we can put it in some tanks. Uh, small tanks, or maybe we put a big tank up here. Or, or out here, actually. That would even be better. I think if we do a... A thing where we... Uh, put in a tank here. And then have some water here. Yeah, okay. I know that probably makes more sense to me than it does to you right now, but we'll get there. Hold on. We don't need that. We just need two, and then these are three. So water tank would be here. Um, yes. And then I add... something like a road here and do this kind of thing. And then here we have some water pumps on either side, like this. And we can delete that one because we, we're not going to need this at all here. Uh, and those can wait for now. Yeah, something like that. So we don't use up any of this area for, um, yeah, the wrong reasons. And of course, we probably should get some storage here as well. Uh, that is our typical kind of uh, game plan for this. Let's see, if we do storage of a small warehouse, does that fit well with the farmhouse? Yes, it does. It's perfect. So, oh, but that's ah, okay. We can make another staircase on the other side. It's not that big of a deal. So farmhouse here and then more stairs there. And then, so that's one farmhouse. Uh, what do we do about the next one? 
could do... This is very convenient, the way that ended up. Quite convenient. Oh, we could do the same thing, actually. This is perfect. We just have another... Oh, but then that... <laughs> uh, okay, so change this a little bit. And put the storage on this side. And then not waste more stairs. Yeah, there we go. That's working very nicely, actually. And then farmhouse. But does this farmhouse... We might need one over here instead. So maybe this is not a good idea. Maybe we just have one over here and then one more primarily on this side. I think that would be nice, but I think we move this water tower actually so that we have a little road over here uh, because I think we're going to need that for, um, for the access here. So let's see. Uh, we want the irrigation tower. Yes. Put that here so we can kind of climb this area too. It's always nice to be able to get up to other areas. Okay, and how do we do the warehousey bits? I guess we just go down and thingy and warehouse. But it's on the wrong alignment. Yay. Well, maybe we do this instead. It's okay. It's just a couple more tiles. And then farmhouse can face the this direction like that. Okay, I think that's quite nice. Uh, now the other thing that we need to do is bees. I'm going to put down the beehives first. It's going to be a lot easier than what we did before. And I'm just going to place them where uh, they are the most effective. We will worry about access later, I think. Okay, so these are going to be in very unruly spots, no doubt. And maybe we need to create access around them or move them slightly. We'll see. So far, they're looking okay. Not too bad. But yeah, this is not a good spot at all. There we go. Uh, hmm. If we put one there, oh, that's fine. They can always walk around to build that one. Okay, that seems good. And then we'll design the crops uh, later. Building needs water. Which one? Oh! What? Uh, let's see if this... I think this probably... Let's see if it functions when we don't have a drought. Because I'm thinking that might be the issue right now. Oh, this is progressing very nicely. Soon we shall have stuff. Yeah, the drought is kind of... Oh, they're hungry. Oh, no. Uh, we have bread. We have berries. Maybe we should transfer some berries to them. Uh, because it seems like we don't have enough stuff here. Let's uh, send them something. What do we send them? District 3... Let's take off the gears for now and send them berries because we have some. Oh, the food is getting so short. No. Ay, this is bad. This is very bad. Can we, can we please, um, we need to build these super fast because we have all these berries waiting to be eaten, but we have not, um, yeah, gotten them yet. How is this going? Are we building anything yet? Have we built all the under bits here? Built some of it. Hmm. Grumble, grumble. Oh. Oh. Uh. Kind of want to even like problem is like if I don't build all of this structure yeah anyway it's it's it'll be fine we'll figure it out but yeah we need to definitely build those first and hopefully we can get a little bit of food going on there do we actually have I guess we don't have any chestnuts yet because it hasn't the trees have not grown up yet but I think here 
it would be nice if we built a food, like a chestnut grill over here. Uh, because we need food. We need the foods. Does that work? No. Ah, but that does. Hold on. Let me, I want to build a, a storage box here. A small, small warehouse. And then we'll put the grill on top of it. Always love this, like, creative kind of <laughs> building. It's fun. There we go. And this is going to be important, too. And this is going to be grilled chestnuts. And we'll put that on medium-high priority as well. But, yeah, I want those stairs done. Oh, my goodness. This is... The food situation is super scary right now, and I am not really sure how to fix this because I, I haven't increased my population in the main area. So it's kind of like, okay, what's going on? Scary times. Have I built the grill for grilled spatter dock? Yes, I have. Do they have stuff? No. These people don't have chestnuts either. But if they build this before it floods then uh, we'll, we're going to have a great time. We're going to have grilled food. Um, but stuff might die. Yes, there it goes. It's getting drowned. No. Oh, they can't build this in a whole day. No. Oh, well. So beavers might die of hunger. Oh my gosh, we already have some dying of hunger. No. Oh no, this is sad. Oh, we might have problems. I hope they don't all die. That would be very bad. We do have food now. Mostly. Partly. Do we have food in the right places, though? <gasps> oh my gosh! We are... We have too much food in the wrong places. Wait, let's see. They have berries there. These people have not much here. Oy. Oh my goodness. This is, uh... This is rough. Why are they not, like, harvesting this? Is it too much... Like, not enough employees? What's going on with this? Maybe I need another farmhouse here because it does seem like there is too much um, stuff going on here. Let's see. This is a two by three. So we could do a... Uh, okay, and entrance is on that side. We could put it here. A farmhouse. Mm, or I could put it up here. That could be okay as well. And would take... Trying to figure out how to, like, connect this best. They don't need too much help, I think. It's probably just best to put it on the ground somewhere, but... I don't like doing that, generally. Could put it here, like that. And that would take two crop tiles only. I think. Yeah. Okay, let's put it up there. We need to have um, this one and there, and then a two crop tiles. These two. Okay, and then we'll prioritize these like super super high. Go go go! Come on, come on, people! Build build the thing! Help! I didn't really notice this. This the, the, it was like too much, uh, too many, too many tiles for that amount of farm. That's my my bad there. Okay, so I guess we do a. Oh, we just need a one. Okay, sure. And road, and thing. Okay, good, good. Prioritize up, and kaboom. There we go. Yep. Yeah, this yeah, it, it is way too many tiles for one farm. I don't know why I, I didn't think about that. That's very silly of me. Okay, we now have this area that is now planted. So how are we doing on this? Does look like maybe they can't get here at all. So this might be a tree area. Oh. Can't get here either. Um... We have this. Maybe we need to put in a 
thing here. Let's try that. Let's put in a um, staircase there. One more thing. But I guess this should be sort of surviving. I think this is what we need. Because, uh, yeah, I think this is probably what we need. It's going to evaporate. It's They're currently dead, <laughs> but they're going to get better. <laughs> They're dead, but they're getting better. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I do want to prioritize some... Uh, I want to prioritize the farmhouses as to be high priori priority always. Because if we need them, we need them. And also aquatic farmhouse also should be high. Okay, we can't reach there. Sadly. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that that's not a thing. But it happens. You can't grow everything everywhere, I guess. Okay, so this needs to be up, up, please. Fix, fix, fix. Or, you know what's even better than that? I think if we delete this tree here and put a platform there instead. Yeah, I think that's probably better. I think that doesn't need to be deleted, but it's okay. We'll do it anyway. Because it happened. Okay. Okay, this is complete. Hooray, now they can make their own logs. So this is a good thing. We have... Wow, wow we only have two beavers here. Oh, they probably died, mostly. Um, We're going to just say one beaver. And then the other one maybe can work here. The lumberjack flag. That'll be very nice. This is going. It's slow. Of course, trees take a while to grow, so that's why it's slow. But yeah, we need to get some of these uh, buildings going on here. But yeah, food is a struggle right now. And I'm like I said, I'm really not sure what is... Why it is that way. Let's get this going. And I'm going to plant more stuff. Let's see. Let's collect the warehouses and say none. And here, none. What do we want to make? I'm thinking we want to make potatoes and wheat, primarily. I think that's what we want here. So let's grab all the wheat. Let's have a half a, half a thing of wheat and half of potatoes. We might even uh, delete some of these trees over here. Let me get a lumberjack here to cut all of these trees. Oh, wait, they're on a different uh, level. Oh, how do I get those? That's going to be rough. Um, It's really hard when you have this situation like this where... I mean, I wonder if I can just delete one. Let's try deleting one. I don't know if it'll work, but I'll try. If we can prioritize this high. Uh, okay, so wheat is going to be here. Uh, all right, and we may need to also kind of figure out the limits of stuff and also accessibility to these crops. Oh, I'd love to put like sunflowers here, but they're not very efficient food. So sad times. Uh, okay, so. I'm just gonna try to like cover this whole thing in potatoes here. And then we'll figure out how to get to the lower levels, or all the levels, I should say, uh, shortly. Now then, let's see what we got here. Can we get down here? This beaver... Oh no! Beaver's stuck! Ay ay ay. Okay. Well, we have to delete that then. Go on, home beaver. Go home beaver. Uh, right. So that was not good. I think what we do here is uh, we do need to have that, but I guess we have a second. We could do something like this and then put a platform here to get that area. Okay, uh, we do need to get this bottom terrace. Let's get a thingy there. That'll serve both of them, I think. 
It's hard to see at night. Let's just wait till it gets daytime again. Looks like this area is a bit inaccessible as well. So maybe we do a thing there and there. So it can get to both parts of this section here. Ah, and this is an, an in an inconvenient spot. We need to delete, I think, this tree here. Let's delete the tree and then move the beehive over. Uh, or move the beehive down. I think beehive down is better, maybe. Put that there instead and then just delete this one. Okay, so we can keep on going on here. Let's see, this is the potato section. Potatoes, potatoes, hooray. So we'll put those there. I don't know if they it will get water up to that top level, but yeah, it's something. Nope, it doesn't. So this doesn't actually go all that far. It's something though, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. All right, let's make sure this is prioritized high. Actually, let's prioritize all of this again, all of these like staircases and stuff so that they can get around and do their thing. Let's see, this is what? Potatoes, okay, yay. Uh, are there any inaccessible places down here? I think it's just that level. Uh, we might need one on this level as well, though. Down there, and then that's water. Okay. We might even have some water gathering on that side. would be too bad. But yeah, I definitely want some of this stuff to get going because, oh, the food situation is not good. Not good. Yay, though. We have stuff going on here. Now, this farmhouse does not work with all of the things so I'm thinking what we should do is um, maybe make another aquatic farmhouse here maybe we change this to the way it was before and get in a new aquatic farmhouse though we do have this housing which is kind of nice to have so maybe I put the farmhouse like right here let's see uh, I think that would be ish okay not not the best but eh, it's fine Let's see. One, two, three. We need this kind of thing. And then delete that. Let's see. Aquatic farmhouse. Let's do that. And then you guys can have roading here. And that should be able to cover all the way to the end there. And I'm hoping that this water will evaporate soon so that we can get the other stuff going on. So this housing is going to happen. That's exciting. We could use, um, let's see, definitely some form of uh, staircasing here. Uh, so beavers can maybe go on the second floor and we get a couple of fun stuff going on there. A couple of fun things there. Let's see, if we want to have log storage we could have some here uh, it does need to be placed on the ground so it is a bit awkward in terms of taking up some nice real estate that we would use otherwise for other things now this here i feel it would be a good opportunity to use a bridge which we haven't actually used yet we've used the platforms but those are not bridges so let's see. This would be a one, two, three gap. We would need a three, three by one. Okay, it does not actually take any metal, which is great. So let's take that off and we'll use this and use that there. Because I don't really want to put a path in here because that's going to take up a lot of real estate for lumber. Uh, I think what we're doing here is working pretty well. I kind of want to see let's oh no wonder they're not cutting the rest of the trees silly me I forgot to mark them so yeah we do want to mark the rest of these for cutting and we're gonna get a nice little lumber thing going on here shortly I think but alas I'm looking at the time and we kind of have to go so uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode I certainly have and uh, I'm really looking forward to our colony growing and thriving and doing all the things. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other.
and I'll see you next time.